Hello, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Modded Terraria. Once again, we have a lot of cool stuff that I want to take a look at in this episode, including three new bosses from Calamity Mod, the Ancient Doomsayer, the Devourer of Universes, and Dragon God, Yaren. We're going to take a look at them, fight them, and hopefully kill them a little bit later throughout this episode. But first, first things first, I want to look at this. This is a mod that I installed a little while back, but we haven't played around with it yet. It's the Music Maker mod, and it adds even more note blocks into the game. It has these drum boxes, like drum notes, it has regular music notes, and then Silver Music Player to play music notes at 120 BPM. You got 180 BPM or you got 80 BPM. Those are the regular ones. And then you have bass music ones too. So I'm gonna make all of these things real quick. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, so we're gonna open everything over here. Boom. We got snare, middle tom, low tom, high tom, kick, open hi-hat and closed hi-hat, nice. Excellent. Very cool. Tom's, uh. Tom Zay. I like that sound. It's a TR-909 type of sound. Yep, I think this is the TR-909 open hi-hat. And let's see. All of this. Nice, okay. So we got a bunch of notes. We don't have enough to really pause notes. 16th notes, okay. Hmm. So we're gonna have to use a bunch of pause notes. I'm gonna have to make a, a lot more of these things to get many more note, note blocks. But we're gonna do probably 120 BPM. But uh, I set aside here, let me grab this and put this on this page. Let's grab our pickaxe too for now. I'm gonna stay on this page. All right. Set aside a little place in here to play around with these. Now, let's see. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit more. Okay. Oh, let me get one of these. I think we'll only need one of these. It's a button from Mech Transfer Mod. Hopefully it works with this. It should. Okay, so we gotta put, let's put one of these out first and see what this, let's just put it underneath. Okay, so we got that. Now what's the difference between that and now the bass player? Oh, I like that bass. Oh, that sounds nice. Okay, well, I am going to play around with this for a while and see what I could come up with. Okay, so this is what I was able to come up with for now. It's not very long. And uh, the difference between these note blocks from Music Maker and the, the note blocks from uh, Project Logic is the way that Project Logics are made. You're able to, when you get to the end, you're able to loop it back around automatically if you want to. Uh, with these, however, I haven't been able to figure out a way to do that. So if I want to continue the song for a long time, then you got to just keep going horizontally. So I may, you know, put like a really long song all the way down at the bottom here, unless there is a way to trigger it at the end to, you know, automatically loop it. Because for right now, right now I am, uh, manually looping, but I have it wired up in a way so that you can listen to or audition each track separately if you want to. And then there's a combination down here. So you got like this one, it's just the kick, four on the floor, pretty straightforward. Okay. And then there's this, which is the more complex drum beat.
and then this is the base first baseline and then this is like a second baseline and then here's combination of these two drum tracks together Okay, so there we go. That's what I was able to come up with for now. Now it's time to fight a boss. How about that? Okay, so we need to grab this. And that's it for now. Okay, uh, I think let's switch to like this weapon probably. And let me put that on. We'll put both of them on, whatever. We'll see how this goes. And I don't know. Let's just, let's go down, down to the ground. Right over here. What's this? Phantom Veil. Okay, perfect. And let's see. Eldritch Soul Artifact. Which summons the Ancient Doomsayer. Cool. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, here you are. Yes. You don't even show up on the map because you're ethereal. Okay. You do a lot of damage, though. I didn't notice that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that music's awesome. Okay. Come here. Ow. And we're still in death mode, too. You dead. An ethereal power courses through you. Did you drop anything else? No? Nothing else? Sweet. Excellent. So, we ended up getting here, whatever. Uh, another one of these, which we don't need because we already have one. Um, luminal, ectoplasm, sword matter. Okay, no drops, but cool music. And these things are all different jellies uh, that don't have a use yet from sacred tools if you were wondering about that no use yet not yet let me grab this stuff more luminal cool all right now let's go back home and i need to grab let me make another inventory here uh wait page two i need all these music boxes for all of these bosses And then we also need the music box for the Upper Abyss biome. So let me go and grab all these musics. Kill you. All right, guys, so I got all of these music boxes. I also got uh, these profaned rocks, which we can use to make this Calamity armor set now. Profaned piano, excellent. The profane set, Pro runic profaned bricks, very cool. Before we move on and do our second uh, spectral boss, I believe they're called, or whatever they're, the next one, which is the Devourer of Universes. 
First, let's try this. Let's see. Okay, so. Spectral Avian Terrarium. Feed it bread and give it a Calamity music box, then watch the magic. I noticed that this thing lines up perfectly right in the middle here. So we're going to try this. Let's see if this works. Uh, let's put this across like that. And then see if you stay after those go away. Yes, you do. Perfect. Now... I don't know if this is going to be like uh, the Extractinator. It said feed it bread and then give it a Calamity music box to watch the magic. But it may just be a recipe. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bread. Increases all stats. Okay. Ducks like it. Give me this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe it's just a recipe. We shall find out. It is. Okay. So, Plaguebringer Goliath Chiptune Box, Desert Scourge Box, Chiptune, Hyrabis Chiptune, Crabulon Chiptune, Slime God Chiptune, Calamity Chiptune, Devourer of Gods Chiptune, and Providence Chiptune. Excellent. And then there's this. I installed this uh, world expansion mod, which we'll look at very shortly. Very shortly here. Now, let's just test these out real quick. Just listen to them briefly. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh dude. That is amazing. Very, very cool remixes. Wow. I love chiptune, by the way, guys. Yeah. Yeah, that is so... I love these. I love this so much. And then the Abyss. This is going to be pretty minimal, probably. These were all made by uh, Spectral Ave. All these uh, chiptune remixes of Calamity Music. Anyway, okay. So let's make it morning time here. We need to grab this right here. Because this, the Dimensional Soul Artifact, is for fighting the Devourer of Universes. A much more difficult version, or I'm assuming, of the Devourer of Gods. We're going to keep all this stuff on. And, okay, probably that, or... Shoot you in the face with this, the Mega Fleet. I forgot what weapons would be really good for him. But, where am I going to fight this guy? Anyway, speaking of, like... Hmm. Before we do this, though, because I mentioned it, let me just show you these. Let me show you these. So we got this. We got this. Now, let us just teleport to the ends of the world. The ends of the earth. Okay. Now, you see how... <laughs> you see how your world ends... Like right here, okay? But you can see like there's still space behind it. And on the map, see, look at that. You can still see there. But, but if I were to use this world expander, oh my God, check this out. Now we can access all the way to the end of the world here. Oh, we got a chest. We got a chest with a flipper. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing works for the entire, it works for all the way up. So now you can access the very top of your world as well. You can access the very, very bottom of your world beneath, you know, beneath everything else. And then you could access, you know, both sides, basically. I'm going to use it to actually build the rest of this cliff here. And also maybe build like a secret build. You can build little secrets. Oops, don't do that. <laughs> Let's uh, put it back to normal, see? Very, very cool. Anyway, let's 
fight the Devourer of Universes. We're going to try fighting him over here. Now, let me turn this on just in case. Uh, it could be... Wait, where is this? Right here. There we go. Turn on these crab statues. Okay. I was like, are they still wired up? They are. It could be that we might need to go to Modifia 2 to fight this guy. But I'm going to use the Mega Fleet, I think. And we're going to keep all this stuff on. We're zoomed out. Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Dimensional Soul Artifact. Without further ado, the Devourer of Universes. Get toasted. Right in the face. Oh my god, get away from me. <laughs> that was a good, good volley. But we haven't had the laser. Oh, here they are. Speak of the devil. Wait, where's your... I can't hit you because he's spectral. Okay. Cool. Just wait for you here. Okay, he's coming. Oh my god. Okay, let's go back over there. Wait for him. Oh no, don't wait for him. <laughs> oh, what's that? We got an ocean roar. Oh my god, these things. Okay. I didn't even look at the map. He almost one-shot us, I think. Because if he hits us with his face, then we're toasted. We just got to get one more good this. Oh, man, that was close. <laughs> oh, crap. I need to land on something. Okay. Here he comes. Woo, that was close. Come on. Okay, we got our... There we go. We did it. Did it. Ethereal power courses through you. We have done it. We've destroyed... Oh, there the crabs are dropping the swords. There we go. We can turn this off. Excellent. Very, very excellent. Yes. Yes. Ocean War. That's the drop we got from the Devourer of Universes. <laughs> I don't think they drop anything. Oh, man. The next one. We got lucky. Like... He came straight at us. Like, right in the beginning, I took most of his HP off right in the beginning there. This is a good weapon against him. Anyway, this is one of my favorite guns. One of my favorite weapons in Calamity is the Mega Fleet. I love this weapon. It's very cool. Especially, you know, combined with infinite stars. Uh, anyway, now. Before we go and fight the final boss from Calamity... We are going to work on a build. I may have mentioned this earlier. I'm going to do a little editing to this video. A lot of editing, actually. But the build I want to work on is something I've been wanting to work on for a very long time. And now with mech transfer and with other little ideas that I have, we're going to build... I'm pretty sure I have, I have this right here. I may end up... It's going to take me a little bit of time here to uh, go around the world and see if where I, exactly I want to build this thing. It's going to be a fast food restaurant. Like a burger. We're going to build a burger shack. Terraria burger. Okay? Except I'm going to use mech transfer to add a little bit of a flair to it. It's going to provide us with... We're going to hit a button and it's going to spit out burgers or shakes or fries or something. It's going to... We're going to be able to order food. And first thing, like, I want to make it look nice, but before we work on the detail of it and everything, I'm going to have to figure out exactly how I want the mechanism, like the central mechanism of like the, the food delivery mechanism needs to be hammered out first. And then after that, I'll make the build around it. So uh, I think I'm going to do it over there. But give me a minute here. Okay, so I have the food delivery system figured out uh we got burgers we got fries we got banana splits and we got a random drink it's actually protein shake but uh yeah it's supposed to be just like anything else just some kind of drink a beverage pushing this spits out a burger we got fries we got banana split and we got the protein shake or the the drink now i have to put all of these 
in here. I want to, you know, not stack the whole thing. So let me do this real quick. Okay, and now for the banana split and the fries, I actually need to go farming a little bit at Grandma's Farms. So let's go over there real fast. Um, Could have gotten there faster another way. Well, whatever. This works. Whee! And first thing we need to do... Come on, get up there. Is that... We need to use this chill mixer right here to make ice cream using these materials right here. So, oops, where is it? Ice cream. And, uh, we, 39, I think, of them. There we go. And then I need bananas and cherries for, to make the banana split. I need cherry and banana. And then, to make the fries, fries, normal hell fries, we need just potatoes. So, what are these? Are these cherries? Yes. Let's go and do a little bit of farming here. Get our cherries, get our bananas up here. This should be enough. I just got to replant them after this. Boom. And then these are the ash potatoes. Oh, we're out. Our inventory is full. Oh, great. Oh, great. Well, we can pick them up. We just need to put this away. We don't need that anymore. Perfect. Bananas. And... Cherries and ice cream and potatoes. Excellent. So let me make the rest of this stuff real fast. And, uh, then I have to build our fast food restaurant around this. All right, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Terraria Burger. Please place your order at the counter and have a nice day. So here we are. We got burgers, fries, uh, banana splits, and protein shakes. <laughs> so I think it turned out pretty good. It's not like the prettiest build I've ever made in my life. But I like that it's functional. Um, functional, but it's not something I'm really going to use a lot. But I made my own little vending machine shop, you know? And there, with the burger, the shakes, or the drinks. 
and the fries in the back. And the fries, I was thinking about, you know, it's just pumpkin block, but I was going to maybe paint a deep yellow. And I was like, eh, no. I mean, I think I like it the way it looks without being painted. Just that golden, crispy golden brown french fry color. I could also make the french fries out of something else. Maybe even like yellow stucco slanted or like sloped at the top and stuff. But I think the pumpkin block turned out pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, so that's that. <laughs> okay guys, now that that is finished, it's time for us to take on our final boss here. And <laughs> that boss represents loyalty. The first one was knowledge, second one power. This one represents loyalty, and I'm assuming it's going to be extremely difficult. So that's why I switched up my gear a little bit here. And let me put that on as well. We'll see how this goes. See how this goes. We got the ladies. We got the Cosmic Immaterializer. I got, I'm going to use the Clay Marine. I'm using Yerim's Crystal briefly. And uh, <laughs> let's uh, make sure the map's all zoomed out here. Because we have to fight Dragon God Yerim. Ah. And uh, I'm going to shut up during this fight. Because somebody else has a story to tell. And ethereal power courses through us. Oh man. Okay. So I used a bunch of really powerful ow. <laughs> really powerful items. And we still almost died. So it's just the only reason why I did that, honestly, is because I don't really have an arena. And I knew like this was gonna be a very, very tough fight. And I really wanted to listen to that music and jam out to DM Dakaro's vocals. <laughs> it's very cool. Very, very cool that uh, there's a, a modded boss, a boss in Terraria that has a theme song with vocals. 
That's really, really cool. Okay, well, that's going to do it for now uh, for this episode. But I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you next time. And hopefully the next one comes out sooner than this one did. It took a really long time because I had like a bunch of problems with crashing. And stuff like that. That I think I've mostly worked through them now. But we shall see. Anyway, I'm going to get started on the next one. Hopefully there's no issues. But thank you guys very, very much for watching. And I'll see you then. Peace out.